Sadas Festival Celebration The essence of Sadas celebration is the victory of light over darkness, heat over cold and good over evil, and the fire is the main symbol of this holiday. The main idea of Sada is to honor light and warmth. Ancient legends say that people lit fires and called for spring, warmth and light. The purpose is to start preparing for agriculture and gardening. The origin and social roots of this holiday are mainly related to agriculture. Historical and literary sources confirm that Sada celebration is originated at the dawn of human society among the tribes of the Iranian people who were early engaged in farming. According to Muhammad Narshaki, Abul Qasim Firdosi, Abu Raihan Biruni, Baihaki, Mahmud Gardezi, and others, it has been known since ancient times that Sada is celebrated on the 10th day of the lunar month, which is celebrated on January. The 30th. Some poets, writers, and historians of the past have commented when Sada was originated. According to Firdosi, the origin of Sada is connected with the discovery of fire and the predecessor of Hushan. The Shahnama says that while hunting, Hushan and his companions saw a large black snake on their way. He grabs a stone, throws it at the snake, and tries to kill him. The stone does not hit the target but hits another large stone. As a result of the collision, the rocks sparkled and dry spikes round them caught fire. The snake flees and the king and his companions rejoice, for until then no one knows how to make fire. Hushan describes this discovery as a gift from the Creator and celebrates it with joy. The fire's discovery and the Iranian people's need for fire are reflected in the Hushan's verse. The black snake, the boat of death and destruction, the divine light appears in the flame, and the light escapes the snake. Since then, Iranians have been celebrating Sada every year as a tribute to fire. Since fire is an ancient symbol of the garden, it should be lit safely to perpetuate the good traditions of our ancestors. Sada's bonfire should be one 1.5 meters high and should be lit away from trees and living quarters. People, especially children, must be protected and be careful when approaching him. The fire should not burn with an intense flame. According to ancient traditions, it is good to add a handful of dry millet and other aromatic herbs can be also used. After Sada celebrating, our ancestors were engaged in planting trees, pruning branches and arranging trees, shrubs and flowers. This good tradition of the ancestors must be continued. Exhibition of seedlings from the rows of fruits, ornamental and shady trees, ornamental shrubs, bright flowers, garden tools, seeds, fertilizers and garden preparations, recommendations and reference books. Flowers can be brought in pots in straws to decorate this corner. Hanging specimens of their fruits on the branches of fruit trees attract the attention of onlookers. If the fruits are not actually available, they can be colored. Since Sada is a festival of enlightenment, we need to address the issues of enlightenment in the coming years. Construction of power plants, construction of solar power plants, power supply to the population, supply of coal and oil and so on. Sada's festive menu consists of a variety of dry fruits and traditional sweets. The tables should be small and serve only traditional dishes. Dried fruits are different in different parts of the country and each city and region of the country exhibits its own dried fruits. The presentation should be interesting and engaging. These include traditional sweets, herbs, lollipops, parvarda, horus, kand, halva, sweets, honey, nishalo, and so on. In particular, it is necessary to organize exhibitions of halva, which is popular in the same cities and regions of the country.